Okay, so I'm filming this part two days before I will do the pump date. And that's just because I wanted to film a little bit ahead of time. But honestly, I really doubt that much will change in two days. And if it does, then I'll add in more. But this will be my 15 and a half to 18 week update. I don't know how much of this I mentioned in my last video, but I'm going to just go ahead and say the things I'm still having. So I'm still sweating more and my belly and everything's kind of just getting hairier. <laughs> and I'm hoping after pregnancy that goes back to normal. I don't really care because it's not that bad, but it's noticeable when you typically have blonde hair and it's now dark. <laughs> I still have more vivid dreams, but they're not as bad as they had been. And I think I was honestly just stressed and a little overwhelmed. So I think that could be what was causing some of the nightmares. I've gotten a few, but they haven't been as bad. I've, I've still had some kind of weird, stressful dreams, but they haven't been that bad. I'm having ear, teeth, and eye sensitivity. I will get this tightness in my belly and I don't really know how to explain it other than it literally feels like you know when you're super bloated because you ate way too much food it will tend to feel like that except only like the pressure part like it doesn't feel severely uncomfortable like it kind of does when you eat too much food. It kind of just feels like there's something growing in me. It can be a little uncomfortable but it's not as bad as when you eat too much. I don't know if I fully mentioned this in my last one but going to the restroom in general is like so much more intense like when i have to pee i have to pee like i need to go not only do i have to pee more but it's harder to hold it and that's kind of just how it is with everything if you get my drift i'm just not gonna go that tmi because it's unnecessary i still have been getting i still have been getting some chest pain but it's not nearly what it was i think again it was just that i was overwhelmed and i think that's partially what was causing the chest pain even though i didn't think it was anxiety I talked to my midwife and all of this was normal it's fine we're gonna keep an eye on something so as long as things don't get worse I'll be fine me being uncomfortable has calmed down again because I think it was I was just like overwhelmed and even though I wasn't physically doing a ton more I've just been a little more calmed recently I also learned that my constantly changing really weird appetite is pretty common it's just weird because like one day I will be okay eating something and the next day I totally will not and it just doesn't really make any sense, but apparently that's pretty common. I watched other videos that said that they had that issue, and I'm like, okay, so it's not just me. I'm not crazy. I'm not as crazy. So as far as the actual doctor's appointment, my little baby is doing just fine. Heart rate was in the 150s like it was last time. She was moving around while she's trying to get the heart rate, and she's like pretty high up, which makes sense because I'm going to be 20 weeks in like two weeks. When you're at 20 weeks, they're about at your belly button level, so it makes sense that she's pretty high up. She also likes to lean to my right side, I guess, and that would be why I get more uncomfort on my right side. Occasionally, that's actually slowed down, too. I'm hoping this will work now. I don't really know where I left off with the last one. I think I was explaining that she's basically leaning to my right side, which is why I get more uncomfort on my right side. Which is also slowed down. Oh, and I don't know if I explained this one in my last one. Because I didn't really think that it was that big of a deal until it got worse. But basically, a lot of the times when I sneeze, I will sneeze blood and snot. Like, bloody snot. So it's not just like I'm pouring blood, but it's like a ton of blood in my snot. That is probably more TMI than anything else that I've said. But, oh well. And then the one day, my nose just started pouring. And I was, like, going to the bathroom. I, like, wiped my nose, and I'm like, oh, goodness, my nose is bleeding. <laughs> like, so I grabbed toilet paper and, like, put toilet paper in my nose, you know? Try to get it to, like, clot up, whatever's bleeding. So I used to get really bad dry patches on my nose, which haven't been a thing for me. So I don't really understand the whole dryness thing, because they said that that's why my nose was bleeding, but... I used to get dry patches and it wouldn't bleed, but now it bleeds and I don't get the dry patches. So maybe it's because of snot, but like even when I had a runny nose, like I would still get dry patches and it would hurt really bad. So I don't know. And then there's times when I sneeze and there'll be like blood chunks in it and it's just really gross and it's not like it's not a daily thing. It literally happens at least once a day, if not like a ton throughout the day. I rarely will blow my nose without there being snot in it. Sometimes there's less than others, but most of the time there's quite a bit, so. But apparently everything's normal, so that's all good. 
it's also that time of year where a lot of people get nosebleeds, especially pregnant women. So I get it, but it's just weird because I'm not used to it and I just don't understand it. But I guess that's what happens when you get pregnant. You don't understand everything that's going on in your body. That's about it for my, for my 15 and a half to 18 week update. There hasn't been a ton of change. You'll kind of see with the bump that there's been a change, but um, you'll see that when I actually hit 18 weeks. First how I'm feeling, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm all right. I thought my energy level was gonna go back to normal or like kind of normal. Like I didn't expect it to go all the way back to normal, but at least like close. It's more so like the best days that I would have for my first trimester are now like my worst days which is fine because that means it's better than my first trimester, but this also can resort back over the next 10 weeks to how it was my first trimester. I'm gonna be super exhausted, which makes me really nervous. As long as I don't have the nausea come back, I'll be all right-ish because it'll be summer and I'll be out of school. Everything will kind of be figured out for the most part and I'll be able to relax. So I have some energy, but not as much. And some days are worse than others. Like yesterday, I was super unproductive. It just was horrible. I didn't feel very well. It was like, I didn't want to lay around, but I had no energy to do anything. I just did not feel very good at all. There's something else I wanted to address, but I don't remember what it was. This isn't exactly relevant to pregnancy, but it's kind of like a health update too. So I don't know how much I've talked about this in other videos. I know I've definitely mentioned it, but I don't know if I kept that in when I edited it or if I edited it. Edited it out <laughs> can't talk so I have a lazy eye but it's not a muscle thing it's just my eye doesn't want to work I think that's the way they explained it so literally no surgery or anything could help it and then this eye is okay it's not perfect but it's okay like I can see fine it's just distance that I have an issue with that's why I have to wear glasses and it helps to wear glasses anyways to protect this eye. I don't wear contacts. I'm just waiting on my glasses to come in right now. They actually came in, but then didn't work out right. It's kind of hard to explain. But when I went into the eye doctors, they saw a spot on this eye, which is very vague. I really don't know how else to explain it because that's about all he could explain to me. I mean, that's like, he used some fancier medical terms and I was like, can you dumb that down for me? Cause I don't know what you just said. It was basically just, there's a spot on my eye. He doesn't really know what it is. So I have to go to a specialist. I wish I could think of what they're called. It starts with an O I think. Optometrist. Oh, I'm about to look it up. There's a difference between an optometrist or an ophthalmologist. I don't know. I just know that my eye doctor is like an actual doctor and has like the main title and I don't know if that's an optometrist and then like the doctor that I need to get into is like a specialist for more severe eye issues. I wish I could explain that better. I honestly won't be able to explain it until I go. I've known about this since like I want to say the beginning of February and I was supposed to get in by the beginning of March and now it's almost April. Oops, but we were having, I was switching insurances at the time, so we are having a little bit of issues with trying to find not only the time to get me in, but like the doctor to get me in too. Plus, I didn't know any good ones around here, or at least ones I could go to that would take my insurance, and especially with the changing, that made things even more confusing. And so now my mom's trying to get me into the one that I was originally going to go to, but before he wouldn't take my insurance. So, it's been a little bit of a mess. That's why we've waited so long to do it. I haven't really had any issues with it. I didn't even know about it. And it could just be a freckle because my mom has a freckle on her eye that doesn't do anything. They wanted to make sure because pregnancy may not have caused it, but it can make it worse. I'm hoping nothing's wrong with it because I did eye therapy when I was younger and... It may have helped my vision a little bit, but it didn't do enough. Um, sometimes it happens. You can do everything possible and it still not fix your vision. And that's probably just how it was for me. So I hope you enjoyed my video. And I guess now I'll show you my bump. But 
you should hit that like button and subscribe. Thanks, bye! I'm having some slight difficulties trying to film this because the way the lighting is like going in and out and trying to show my belly without the lighting changing is making it really difficult because apparently my belly is just reflecting light. It's just like too bright and blurring it out almost, if that makes sense. Today is actually 18 weeks and one day. I'll insert a picture from yesterday in case it's that big of a deal to anyone. Okay, so here's what it looks like. See what I mean? To me, it kind of looks a little weird, and I'm thinking it's just because the way she's positioned. I guess my uterus sometimes is like leaning to this side. I think I even mentioned that in the video. But then also, she's just at an awkward spot, and I think it just makes my belly look super weird. And it might just be me, because I'm super observant of my belly, because like, I don't have anything better to do with my life than observe my belly, apparently. No, it's just because, like, I try to make sure there's no, like, weird changes going on that I should be aware of. So, maybe it doesn't look as weird to you as it does to me. Who knows? Doesn't matter. Can't do anything about it. I kind of just look a little chunky.